Some groups just don't get along. The nuclear hailstorm of 2079 left only a few creatures alive. Some hid safe underground and formed the survivor army. They fought the surface mutants, the evolved, 40 years later. Most fought bravely. Those from both armies who cowered and ran survived. The splinter groups disappeared for nigh on 40 years. And then, in 2179, 100 years since the first great nuclear war, they found each other. there was another group who survived the great nuclear war. The Series 9 had advanced from their farming origins, since humans had laid waste their crops, laid waste their reason for existing. Revenge was inevitable. No, some groups just don't get along. Hello everyone and welcome to KKND2 Crossfire. We're going to play as the survivors first. We've got two missions to choose from. Let's start with Heavy Weapons Operation. Okay, Commander. Here is the situation. Forty years ago, the Survivor Army fought the freaks. We, the new survivors, left early to, to prepare cavalry. It took longer than we thought, and over the 40 years, it became Freak City up there again, and it should be ours. We built a surface base. The Freak has nearly trashed it. You will have to direct the small nearby platoon to fix it up, and then build up enough resources to trash the Freaker camp. Let them know we are back, and that we want it all again. And here we go. We've got a team okay, of technicians here, as well as an assault troop. The There's some oil here, but we're not going to bother with that right now because we actually have a pre-built base already. We just need to recover it and we don't have a construction vehicle right now anyway. Let's cross this bridge here with everyone and make our way to the base here. Yeah, this game here still largely works like KKND1. And this Star Wolf here is an ugly sprite. The main difference is that we now have a new faction, the Series 9. 
agricultural robots, yeah. but we're not going to meet them this time. We're going to meet them next time. And also... Oh, build system for custom units. Okay, so you have found our base here. Very nice indeed. Yes, sir. Moving. Let's have okay. you here. Then. Join my vehicles. Yes, sir. And the rest of my guys can stay here. Okay. So you're going to yes, repair sir. stuff. Unfortunately, so I never really liked the repair system with these guys here because you individually sure. used to repair stuff. And yes. now they don't even repair the entire, uh, the yes. entire building yes. anymore, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's build a research station here because we have to research stuff. And let's also get ourselves another rig here. Okay, okay, but yes. what we're gonna do in the meantime is destroy one of the two Evolved bases here. bases here. Yeah, I can see it's not fully repaired. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna have the research center research itself, which means that future tech upgrades are gonna be cheaper and will also be faster. Research, okay. Did I accident? Yeah, I accident sent you here, self. Oh, that is fine. Okay, here we go. You please come down here. We can also upgrade, yeah, let's upgrade you here, and then we get the map. And you can please build me power station here. New building completed. Okay. Oh, yeah, you guys, we are following the... Following that harvester here, which is fine. Good, 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 good. So now we've got... Actually, do we have the... Wait a Oh, we upgraded the factory, not the HQ. Yeah, whatever. Research. Let's upgrade you. That means we can squeeze a bit more oil out of uh, every hull of oil here we get. We can't really research much here in this... In this mission here, because we're limited to, like, one... One level of research here, but that's, that's fine. There's no dedicated barracks. We no longer train infantry from your headquarters. And the barracks actually looks like the headquarters from the first. At least for the evolved, looks like one from the first game. And the headquarters is now this this cool like skull hut here with, with purple flames, which is really all you can ask for. These guys here barely do anything. I think they will produce units if you give them a lot of time, but we're not going to do that. We're going to burn down everything they have. All right, all right. Next. We are probably going to go for that old patch as well, because but we can't, I can't build actually more more tankers here, which is a bit unfortunate. But yeah, whatever. It's not really that necessary. It would just be a bit more convenient. And here we go. Yeah, I'll just put you into fight mode here. Then you should destroy everything here sooner or later. Another thing that's kind of interesting about this mission here is let's just go a little bit further down here and let's research the radar. Even though the first levels only give us vision on our own stuff, not on enemy units and structures. We're still going to do it. Yeah, come down here. And yeah, we've got some old KKND1 structures here. Headquarters, Menagerie. And yes. the repair station. That, that's pretty nice. I, I do like that. Also, here we go. Got a map here now. That should do it. Then let's get ourselves yet another mobile rig here. You can return home. At one point, we're probably going to get yourself, we're going to get ourselves attacked by the yellow faction here, but that's that's fine. They're not going to send much, and we can always recall our troops in the south here. All right, all right. You destroy me that. Yes, sir. And you here yes. shall deploy yourself here. Yes. But the real question is, can we pop down a power... Well, that's the repair bay. Can we pop down a power station here? Yes, we can. 
Excellent. Right, right. You're the last structure here. Once you're down, we can focus on the north. Oh man. These guys here decide to come for us now. But that's fine. Just focus fire here, please. Don't just run away. Yeah, Thomas, these archers here in yellow, they look kind of terrible. But yellow is never a great faction color, is it? Anyway, up here with you. Come down here. Because you have a bikes you can actually hover over here, which we could use for a surprise attack on their economy here, but I don't think they're going to like that. They might just send a bunch of units after us. And the bonus we don't... Yeah, there we go. Well, these do look even uglier and yellow, like, seriously. Also, are they going to come after us now? Uh, we'll see. We'll see indeed. Could fix you here, but we don't really need to. The repair station, who really needs that anyway? Okay. Oh, yeah. These guys, they can swim as well. Forgot about that. Thankfully, die wolves can't take any damage. So now they're all gone. Okay, okay. We could build one more power station. It's not a power station. Uh, one more power station right here. That will probably accelerate things a little bit. So let's do just that. And I guess we could... Give these ones here economic upgrades as well. Sure, why not? Let's just do it. And then we can just build up an army of vehicles here and destroy everything. Question is, do we really want vehicles or do you just want grenadiers here who are actually quite a bit cheaper? Maybe we should go with those. But for now, yeah, let's upgrade you here as well. And now we've got a decent amount of income here. You here are almost done. Now power stations take very long to build. They're considerably longer than other structures, but they're also quite a bit more expensive. They cost 2,000 credits. Which makes them, I think, the most expensive structures outside. Like super advanced base defenses and the... No, not quite. And the... The outpost, of course, or Clown Hall, or Series 9 headquarters. Okay, okay. Research complete. Researching. Here we go. And let's get a whole bunch of you. Could maybe get some more vehicles. I think we're probably going to do fine here with Grenadiers because they, they have a very good ratio of cost to firepower. Yes. We don't really need to hover buggies. I'm not sure whether they're actually stronger than the ATV. They can hover over land. But I'm not sure they're really better in that sense. But let's, let's get a bunch of them nevertheless. And sure, let's get another barracks here. Here we are. Nice, nice, nice. They'll probably have anti entry defense, so having some vehicles here may still be worth it. There we are. Then again, we also destroyed all the dire wolves that sent after us anyway. So there's that, I guess. Very nice, very nice. Sure. Got a whole bunch of you. Infinite amount. Nice, 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 nice. I guess we could also have you here. Can you actually swim? You sure can. Well, well, you can just walk through the water, I guess. Okay, that might be enough to actually take down their economy there. So let's do just that, and the vehicles can stay here for now. Could take the hover bikes, but can't bother right now. 
Okay. Yep, no problem whatsoever. We don't like that. That's fine. Where are you going? You're supposed to... Well, never mind. Well, we could destroy all of these guys here anyway. So never mind. There we go. You here can... Can go the long way around and you... Join me here, please. Yeah, now the yeah. oil patch is on fire. If you don't build a new... Yeah. And I guess we could get more of you here as well. If you don't build a new rig there in time, it's actually going to burn out at one point. Yes. Okay. Yes, all right, all right. I'm listening. Yep. I'm there. You come yep. down here. Okay. I'm there. I'm it's got some fencing here, but nobody really cares about that. And it looks like they don't even have defenses here. Yeah, that, that works for me then. Should destroy their barracks. Yeah, and since they don't have anti entry based defenses, I guess you can just go full grenadier here. Riflemen aren't really worth it because they only cost one fifth less than a grenadier. But the grenadier really is actually pretty decent range and deals a lot of damage. Okay. Everyone here go into fight mode, and then we're gonna clean this up in no time or whatsoever. I guess you were slightly too far away to join the party. And here we go. And there we go. That was actually over part time. I guess we could have gone for Grandiers even harder and even earlier, but it doesn't really matter. This mission was pretty easy, but then again, it's the first mission. It's really more of a tutorial. But even if you're not familiar with KKND1, you probably shouldn't have too much trouble figuring out what you're supposed to do. Thanks for watching and see you next time.